Welcome back to Edula and today we are here with a very 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 amazing tutorial on how to create YouTube app in Apple app of Code.org. So today we are creating such an amazing application. So I will excited. So let's build together. So first we're going to the design tab and let's design this application before coding. So go to design tab, add an image, and if you have heard and if you are using apps which are built by other like your mobile app. Everyone uses it. So there, of course, in many of the applications, there is splash screen, isn't it? Isn't this splash screen? So we are putting that splash screen here in our application also, because splash screen is the most basic feature, and every application must have a splash screen. So let me tell you how to add a splash screen. So for adding a splash screen, first you add an image. And here we will put the YouTube logo because today we are creating YouTube flow. Click on save. Now let's go to Google and you search for YouTube logo. Fine, search for YouTube logo and choose the most appropriate image to choose your name. So you can choose any of the image. YouTube logo, just click right here and click on copy the address. Then again, go back to your avocado platform and then click on link to and link to image. Paste it as simple as that. All done. So now we will go to create a new screen, and here we are adding the same logo which had been there. So let's click on choose to image. All okay. done. Now let's add a good, let's add something good, right? Isn't that fine? Yes. So this designing is far more much better than what it was earlier. Isn't it? So let's go. You want. Then go. And on size 20. Put the background color as red. Put one text input and here write down. Done. All in. Now put one more image and put it here. Go to click on choose, click on icons and search for search. Click on this image and any this image is most appropriate according to me. Even you can upload your own image or you can just change the sorry sorry border color what I'm doing. Go to IP color and change the icon color. It's black, so do it right. That's why it was not visible. All done. If you want, you can give it as red also. All work is done. You can do designing and customization according to you. Now let's start putting it. So go to here. So you can even make it little downwards. And go to control. And because I got some feedback from my viewers that they want that I should work in blocks. So because they are new to code but they are not able to relate with codes right now, they are not able to write the codes. So for them, I am today coding through blocks. If you guys want that I should code in text only, then you can let me know. And the majority I will follow, but because till now I got the majority as that I should work in blocks, so I'm working in blocks. Okay, so we can give it 500 and set timeout function of set screen. Now, on event when image number 4 is clicked, what if image number 4 is clicked? 
what is the image number four is it then what's going to happen then it's going to open a url it's going to open your url comprising of after these two after these two put one plus symbol and here in this plus symbol write get text from text input one Alright, and here with this URL in description when URL is ready, please go and copy that URL and paste it here. So as I said, go to description, copy the link, paste it here, and work is done. Now let's run our application to check whether it's done or not. I mean, is it ready? Really? So splash screen, yes, it was correct. Now which video you want? Like just search for suppose. Edulo, the video which I posted Instagram clone, Instagram clone in App Lab or Folder. So, let's check if my video is coming here. Click on Search. Click on Continue. Hey, well, the video is coming Instagram clone. So, with this. We have created our own YouTube clone in AppLab of Coded Version. So can you even imagine, have you ever imagined while learning AppLab that you could even create such amazing applications? I have never thought that. But as time went, I am able to create such amazing applications. And same with you, you will also be able to create such amazing applications on your own. If you follow my app lab series and the link of this series can be given in the description. And it's absolutely free of cost. So thank you guys and wait for my next video.